Good morning. Today we will have a look at how you can create a very easy but also very cool sci-fi hologram uh, shader or material in Unreal Engine 5. Let's go! So first off, you will need two textures. You can uh, use the textures in the uh, uh, content starter pack or you can download just a plain white texture and also a Perlin noise, which we'll be using in uh, the material. Just right click and create a new material. We will call this M underscore hologram. And the first thing we'll change is the blend mode to translucent. And we'll start off by creating the uh, bands. So right click and type world position and then create a scalar parameter and we'll call this spacing underscore one because we'll create three bands and uh, set the uh, default value on the parameter to 10 on this one and we can change this later if you want and we'll drag this out and divide this with the uh, scalar parameter and then drag this out again and create a component mask and here we only want the blue channel and this will make the bands go vertically. Uh, you can play with the other uh, channels if you want for a weird effect. And then drag this out again and create a panner node. And this we will set to a Y speed of 2. Drag this out again and create a generated band. Change the input to the input coordinates and then create a new scalar parameter and we'll call this one line width one and then change the default value to 0 0.7 and there we have one line now we're going to duplicate this uh, three times and change some things around so select all the nodes, Ctrl C, Ctrl V, duplicate. We'll start by changing the line width to 0, uh, 0 0.2, sorry, and then the default value to 0 0.5 for this one. Then select the panner node and change the Y speed to 4. And then change the spacing from 0 0.1 to 0 0.2 and the default value to 20. Then we will duplicate all of this a third time and create an even thinner line. So rename this to 3. And then the spacing to also free. And this will have a very, very thin line. So change the value to only one here. And uh, there we have it. Now we have three different lines going vertically. So for the third part, we'll create a Fresnel effect on the edges of the mesh. So right click and type in Fresnel function. And here we will need a scalar parameter, which we'll rename to glow power and hook this up to the power input and change the default value to five. Once again, you can always change this later if you want. Then hold T for a texture and search for the Perlin noise which you either imported or use from the content starter pack. Then right click once again and create a panner node. We won't change anything on this one. Hold free for a constant free vector and hook this up to the speed and convert this to a parameter and rename this to edge glow speed and change the value 
on the green channel to 0 0.05. And now we'll start to combine all of this. So drag out from the result of the Fresnel function into a multiply. Then hook up the texture sample. And once again, drag this out into a multiply and create a new scalar parameter. Rename this one glow size. Hook this up. And then a default value of 30. Drag out the generated band into a multiply. And then let's move this just a bit. And then drag out the results from the top one into an add. And we'll add these two together. And then drag out the add into a blend overlay. And the important thing here is that the input has to be the bottom one and not the top one. Otherwise, your blend colors will be inverted. Then once again, drag out the result into a multiply. and hook up the multiply from this one into the other multiply. Lots of multiplies here. Then drag this out into an add. And uh, just for organization, I will change the inputs. Uh, these don't really matter though. And then hook up the add into the emissive color. And you will get an error, but we will fix this in just a second. Then create a new scalar parameter and rename this to opacity. And hook it up to the opacity and change the default value to 0 0.5. Then once again hold free to create a constant free vector and change the color to a blue. This will be the color of the hologram so you can change this to whatever you want. Hold T for a texture sample and then right click and uh, convert it to a parameter and we'll call this texture. Then drag out the UVs and create a panner node. Uh, once again, we won't change anything here. And then hold free once again to create a constant free vector and hook this up to the speed and change the red channel to 0 0.05. Drag out the blue color into a multiply and hook up the texture. And here you will change the texture to the default texture, either from the content starter pack or a just plain regular white texture. It doesn't really matter. It's just a placeholder. And then hook up the multiply into the blend overlay. And once again, very important that you input this into the top socket. And just the final thing is to convert the constant free vector into a uh, parameter, which we'll call texture speed, and then compile, save and apply. And there you have it. And now the shader is complete. So right click the material and rename it to material instance underscore hologram. And I'll add earth because I'm going to create an earth hologram. And apply it to your mesh and then go into the material instance properties. Now, finally, you can change some things around if you want. Uh, you can change the texture. I'm going to change my texture into an earth texture I downloaded. And now you can adjust the speed if you want, and it's just the speed of the texture. The mesh or material isn't actually spinning. It's just the illusion since we're moving the UVs around. And you can also change the spacing if you want, or the opacity. Whatever fits your hologram. So there we have it. Also, if you don't want to create the uh, material from scratch, I'll upload this to a Gumroad page where you can download it for free if you want. 
But yeah, there you have it. So I uh, hope you learned something from this and uh, have fun with your new hologram shaders and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.